thumb sucking movements of the baby. Now there is another thing called the pseudo sinusoidal or sinusoidal like pattern which is described in the literature. Which simply is instead of the U shaped curves, these curves are V shaped, V shaped curves, but there are no accelerations and no field movements. So sometimes you might find the variability is good, but you don't see any accelerations and the baby is not moving. So it's a bit bizarre to have good variability and no accelerations. So you had to elicit field movements or accelerations. And you can do all the same test to make sure there is no anemia, Flyhaw, Betke, ultrasound, and so on. This is how it looked like. So this is, the variability is reduced. The baseline itself is fluctuating up and down. And there are no fetal movements. So when we did the test first day, we didn't really recognize the problem. This was going on for two hours without any accelerations. But we thought variability is good. But what we are seeing is not variability. It is a variability absent, but the baseline itself is swinging. The next day, that was the CTG trace, delivered, and the hemoglobin was four grams. And the baby had cerebral palsy after that. But yeah, mother had a very strong Plyhaw positive. That means there was a massive fetal maternal transfusion. So if you see a trace which you think is good variability, but you don't get coincident accelerations and fetal movements, then you have to be a little bit worried. And if the contractions are coming, and if you get deceleration, then you have to be worried as well, because that can cause problems. So that is just a summary of sinusoidal and pseudo-sinusoidal pattern. Now there was a question asked about the um, practice of electronic fetal monitoring in Nagpur, and I know uh, Dr. Mundal is doing some clinical trials and so on. One of the possibilities to do that is actually slowly switch over from auscultation into an electronic one. If you use a Doptorm, which is standard availability, it will give you a heart rate. That's what you normally see. But the machines have been now modified by using a chip inside the machine, which you can, with one switch, the digital display can be transformed into a CTG. So you can actually use a Doptone. And on the CTG on the screen, if it shows decelerations, then you can transfer those cases only to electronic fetal monitoring. And this can be done every 15 minutes or every 20 minutes. And then you can observe for two or three minutes to see what is happening. It's slightly expensive compared to the digital display one as you could see, but it can be switched off uh, without any difficulty. So it's first produced by Sonic Aid Huntley, but the other machines also being produced is much, much, much cheaper than buying an electronic fetal monitor. So that is actually uh, the books which I do, which I'm sure you might have seen somewhere else. So I'm going to really spend a little bit time um, on some cases a snapshot cases and then finally take the lecture on uh, when to intervene. So might be, um, I think we have some chairpersons for this meeting. They haven't announced the chairperson, they forgot them. Okay, any questions and answers? I can continue without the chairperson. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to put my last lecture, which is the important lecture last, but I've got this timer here, so I can really look at the time and uh, start my last lecture about 40 minutes before, but I'll finish what is in the program.